In this video we're just going to talk about the pixel refresh option on the Panasonic GH6. So the reason you might use this is if you get what they'd call a hot or a stuck pixel on the sensor of the camera and the reason that might happen people people tend to say it generally happens when either the sensor gets too hot or if it's exposed to very bright light and I've I've generally in the past I've only ever had this happen on DSLR cameras so um, I've had it happen on a couple of my older Canon DSLRs and I, I couldn't tell you the reason why it happened on there it's just one of those things that does seem to happen and I I've kind of I've been using these um, these cameras for you know years I've had the GH GH5 for you know many years now and the GH6 for almost a year so it's um it's not something i've noticed yet on these but luckily panasonic have built in a feature into these cameras anyway to to try and kind of prevent it if it does happen and essentially all it is is the the kind of um the the, the pixels on the sensor array sometimes they can kind of get stuck at a color value and the way i saw it on my old canon um I, i've got the footage still from it and you know i took various pictures to kind of show it but the trouble is it's so small you just wouldn't be able to see it even if I shared it you know as a screenshot in this video it's so small it's really hard to pick out but essentially what had happened is I had sort of um, probably I think there were two or three just very small uh, kind of pink to red dots and they'd probably been there for a long time and I'd only really just noticed them when um, I was shooting in quite a dark scene where people were doing cave-in and they had head torches on and as they were turning the, the light cast kind of really draw, drew my eye to where they were so I could really see it because there was a lot of uh, dark and grey within the scenes and I could really see the, the sort of pink or red dots kind of standing out and you probably will notice it more when um, you know if, if you're in a in a dark scene where the camera's either moving or quite a lot or you've got the person is moving quite a lot because the, it will just be stuck on the screen in one point so it's um it, it it can be easier to pick up it's one of those things where <laughs> to pick it up on um a tiny screen like this or even a monitor um quite often you'd have to punch in quite far and really kind of zoom in and, and look around the image whereas on your on you know laptop or pc you, you can actually sort of um, do a bit more kind of pixel peeping and, and work out where it is but it's um, yeah it's one of those things that's really easy to to miss and it's a real pain if um, it's on your footage for photos it's not quite so bad because you know we've we've got things like um, uh, sort of like inbrush and stuff where we we can basically just use all content aware where we can just get rid of spots and you know we we can do like healing spots on the um on the photo so as long as it's not on somebody's you know prominently on someone's face or anything like that we can generally get away with that but in video it's a lot harder because if the camera's moving um what you'll end up having to do i had to do this in the past basically you overlay two frames and push it off like one pixel and then that can stop it from being there but you'd only really use that in a pinch if you'd already shot the video you know like ideally you need a solution to try and get those pixels back um, so that's kind of where this feature comes in so before you do this the first thing to check you know just be really sure that you know you think it is like a hot or a stuck pixel because sometimes it can just be kind of you know you could have dirt or bits or anything kind of stuck on the camera and hot and stuck pixels can come in a few different kind of color forms and one kind of easy way generally to, to kind of see is usually a stuck pixel is more of a kind of a hard shape um, whereas if you've got dirt on the back of the lens or on the sensor or even on the front of the lens that tends to just be a kind of out of focus smudge and it's, they don't quite look the same really um, but what you can do um, I did a video about cleaning the sensor and stuff so I'll link that up in the corner and you know it's always a good idea anyway to clean the clean the sensor on the camera and keep it all kind of in in good shape but if um yeah if you do have um have a kind of hot pixel on there then what you can do you can kind of jump into the camera and if you go into the uh the spanner or the wrench and then again into the spanner or the wrench there it's the others menu you've actually got this uh, menu here called pixel refresh 
and you can go into that and you can actually just run that and I I won't do it at the moment because I, I haven't actually got any stuck pixels at the moment thankfully but um, if you run that what it's supposed to do is just remap the pixel display so um, you, you should with any luck eliminate those those kind of um, those pixels that have gone wrong and then once you've done that if it's still there it could be a problem potentially elsewhere you know it, it could be it's always worth checking it could be a problem on your on your actual monitor you're looking at so you know these these kind of screens are prone to getting things like dead pixels and it, it or even you can get stuck pixels on a monitor like that so it's one of those things where you've really got to check it you know you take take the footage off the card check it on a couple of screens make sure it's it is from the sensor it's not on the, you know on the screen you're looking at so um yeah you just just kind of have to check and it it can be difficult obviously you've got the um you've got your lvf and your screen on the back of the camera but like i say they they can be really hard to spot these things on so if you're seeing something noticeable on the screen i would say it's more than likely actually on the screen and not not being burnt into the footage and um yeah it's just uh it's one of those things you just kind of have to like logically follow up and try and work out where the actual issue is and then you know if if it is definitely on the sensor and the p pixel remapping doesn't work you you're sort of at the point then really where you're probably just going to have to take the camera in for kind of uh you know like a service or repair because there's nothing really you can physically do yourself or I wouldn't recommend you try and do it yourself to you know fix a fix anything like that on the sensor so um yeah hopefully you know by that point you'll have you'll have got to the bottom of it and you can you can kind of fix it the pixel refresh um pixel refresh tool is really useful so um yeah hopefully that's helped if it has give the video a like and um if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe